Welcome back to Minecraft. Okay, so today we are going to build a balcony. Okay, and yeah, uh, this giant area, like the second I stopped recording, I went outside and there was one of those giant TNT creepers, like the ginormous ones that shoot uh, the TNT at you. And it, uh, it managed to shoot, I think, like two or three TNT at me before I killed it. And it blew up the large majority of our front lawn, as you can see. There should be lots of grass here, but there's just a bamboo sprout. In between now and the last episode, I've done a bit more exploring. I found a really cool place for us to build our base. It's on top of some actual old ancient ruins, so our base might be haunted, so... <laughs> I mean, that might be really cool. Um, I've also, as I said, gathered some more materials, and that's about it. And as you can see, I've started constructing our base, and it's looking pretty good so far. If okay, but today we are going to be building a balcony around our home because I really want to have a balcony. So let's go ahead and get some oak wood because I think that's what I'm going to build it out of. Okay, and let's turn about a stack of it into planks. So we'll just follow the outline of the house and I think I'm going to make the balcony three thick, like three planks wide, I guess you could say. Oh, and yeah, I've also made lots of diamond tools. I made a diamond shovel, a diamond sword, just because I kept dying. And um, also, while I was gathering materials, I like ran across a, a few ruins, and I will have footage of that playing across the screen right now. So, there was a desert temple, and I also found like some weird mossy cobblestone ruins that I went inside. Nothing too extraordinary, just some ruin harvesting, again, for the second time. But yeah. And then, that was about it in between now and the last episode. Yeah. Lots and lots of brain slimes. I don't know where they're spawning. I wonder if I can find where the slime chunks are and just make it so they can't spawn anymore. Because that would be very nice because I'm sick of brain slimes. Okay, so we'll go to, like, is that even right? I don't know. I don't think I did this right, but it's okay. We'll just go with it. <laughs> I'll Eventually, I'll just go on top and we'll be able to see everything I did wrong and that should be helpful okay but yeah so I wanted to build a balcony because we're kind of like in this beautiful area and we didn't have any easy ways to just look outside and see the surrounding area so I thought that would be like a cool little project I get I keep hitting the walls or not the walls but like the blocks around me and it's bothering me let's go ahead and do a bit of terraforming mystical brown flowers okay but we just have such a beautiful little area around us and we had no good way to like see any of it so i think this balcony will be really nice in letting us just look at the area that we've managed to claim now these are too thick so we need to go ahead like that and now that needs to come one more like that okay so now let's go upstairs. I think I'm going to make the entrance for this right in this wall. So we'll just go ahead and mine all that glass. And let's get this stone brick. We'll put a piece of wood down. We will use these two stone bricks to fix the hole. And now let's craft a door. Okay. And let's take the door and put it right here. Fantastic. And now we have our little balcony. So let's just go ahead and add one more block around the edge just so we have enough room and the fences don't because I'm going to put fences around it just so the fences don't and we'll only put it around the size not on the flat part flat part but just so the fences don't I've said the fences like a hundred times but just so we have enough room to walk around on the balcony without getting like knocked off or not knocked off but we'll have enough room <laughs> to walk around very serious worry. Okay. Almost done. There we go. Is that symmetrical? Not at all. So I guess that should be symmetrical. We'll just go ahead and make this a hexagon, I think. It'll look fine. And then we'll go up top and trim it. Okay, so this looks good enough. So now let's go up top. And the ladder's over here. Let's see what it looks like. So we have our balcony, 
that looks good and this all looks good that looks good and yeah, the balcony looks pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some fences for it. Let's go inside. And we need, we're gonna need more wood. Okay, let's turn half of this oak wood into planks. And now let's turn two stacks of planks into sticks. And now we'll just use all of these sticks to make fences. And I'm hoping that this will be enough fences. And yeah, because I don't want to have to go and get more oak wood. <laughs> Because it's not fun chopping down trees on camera. Giant, giant trees. Okay, so we have... I've already used 20. We So we're probably going to need to make a few more, but I should have enough wood that I've collected in between now and the last episode to do this without having to go and get more. Okay, and then we're still going to add the oak wood supports to the side of our house, just so it's not as... It's just not all stone bricks, because I think it looks kind of boring right now. Oh yeah, we can definitely finish this with the wood we have. Okay, let's use these last few sticks to make fences. We're going to have to make a few more. Maybe, will six be enough? Okay, moment of truth. Can I count? Not really count, but can I guess? No, I need two more fences. Okay. And then after I have these two fences, we will go... It's not how you make fences. You need sticks. There we go. Oh, and it's perfect because we have the perfect amount of sticks to fence. We don't have any leftovers. And done. Okay, now let's go grab some torches from downstairs. And then afterwards, I guess we'll move all of our stuff inside. Is that a good idea? Okay, where are our torches? I don't want redstone ones. I want normal torches. Do I have any? I may have to make some torches. Okay, let's just go ahead and make some. You can never have too many torches. Okay, and 12 torches. So let's go upstairs. Was that a chicken? <laughs> Thank you, chicken. Here, let's try and make a baby chicken. Eh, that was a waste. Oh, well. It's like a 12.5% chance, I think, that you'll actually get an egg from your chicken. So it's pretty rare, if you think about it, because you need, like, 8 eggs to even have a chance at getting a chicken. So, yeah. But we're going to have our chicken farm soon, or our animal pastures I guess so that'll be fine because then we won't have to worry about actually like collecting chicken eggs we'll just be able to go hey chickens make some more eggs and then they'll make more eggs because that's how chickens work okay and done so now this balcony is all lit up and we will have no issues with monsters and now that's dumb I can't go under it we're going to put logs as a support for the balcony because I think that'll look nice so it's come, we'll go to all of the edges like this, and we'll, we will build log columns. Like, not like that. Like that. That looks nice-ish. Okay, we'll just build logs down like this. Maybe we'll even, that's going to get annoying. But maybe we'll even finish our house this episode. That would be base, not house. We'll even finish our base this episode. That would be nice. Oh, a meteor just crashed. I don't know where it came from, though. It was close. I just don't know where. Maybe when we're exploring out again, we will be able to find where it crashed. But for now, I'm just going to leave it alone. I don't want to spend a whole episode meteorite chasing. Okay. I think we about ha we're about halfway done going around with logs like this. Okay, we're gonna have to get more logs. Maybe not one, two, three. We'll have the perfect amount of logs. It's almost like I planned this, guys. <laughs> uh, that wasn't right. Okay, let's mine this. And there we go. And yay! And we got our. Oh, it only grows into one? Oh, that's a shame. Oh, I wish I hadn't planted it. Oh, our house looks good. Okay, I wish I hadn't planted the bamboo shoot because we only got one bamboo from it. Maybe if we just leave it, it'll end up growing more. Okay, let's go upstairs and sleep so we don't get mauled by monsters. Okay, but our house is starting to look really good. Base, not house. I'm never gonna learn. Come on, get in the bed. There we go. Air, pamsfixes.zs colon 65 colon could not resolve something. 
don't even know. Pam's fixes? Is that like Pam's harvest craft maybe? Probably this is <laughs> the right floor. Okay, ooh, and let's go ahead and make some pressure plates. I love pressure plates because I don't like opening doors because I'm lazy. And we'll only put them on the inside so we don't have to worry about monsters walking in our home. Okay, and you know what? Let's go ahead and mine the area under the fence up and we'll replace this with logs. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does that look? Oh, I think that looks better. But now we need to do the same for all this, or I will have OCD about it. Four, five, but we only need to do this on the outside ones. Three, four, five. Does that... Okay, so which one looks better? I kind of like it more with the wood, but I, now I want to do all the wood fo facing downwards like that. I think that'll look actually... It may actually look pretty nice. Okay, so let's do all the wood facing down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, I can count. And let's just actually go ahead and mine it all first, and then we will come back and put the wood down. That way we should save like a couple nanoseconds, because we won't have to switch between our our um, axe and our logs as much. Okay. So, very excited, because once we finish our base and we move inside, we're going to get to start experimenting with mods, and the first mod we're going to experiment with is Botanica. Very, very excited, if you couldn't tell by the tone of my voice. But yeah, we're going to play with Botanica, and I think that'll be really fun. So, Botanica. The first thing we need to do for Botanica is just check and see how many flowers we have. And then if we don't have enough flowers, I think we need 16 of each, or about, we're going to go flower mining, or flower collecting-ing. So, hopefully, I've managed to collect enough over the past 8 or so episodes, I think. Because then we won't have to waste time now collecting them. We'll just be able to jump right into it and start crafting our lexi- well, we already have a lexicon. I think I I think I found a few too on the ruin slash resource collecting trips, so I think I may have even more than one lexicon. So, yeah. Gonna have a lot of fun with Botanica. It's gonna be great. And I felt- I want to make sure I don't fall into water again. Okay. And, okay. Almost done. Just- need to go a bit further and we're done oh it looks good i really like the balcony okay so now let's go ahead and add the oak wood like i wanted to so we'll put the oak wood here ish okay and now we'll just go up because that's the best way of doing it and down okay and we will just go ahead and do this all the way around because it'll be fun. Maybe. But it's going to make the house look better. Because just my issue with all entirely stone brick buildings is that it just looks boring because it's the same material used over and over again. And I know we're not using a lot of variety in our buildings, but I really do think that's that will change in the future. I will make sure it changes because... I will do a better job collecting resources and making sure we don't just use oak and stone. But I do like how we used cobblestone. I think that I, I don't really build a lot with cobblestone, so it incorporates something new into my builds that I don't use a lot. Okay, so we're about halfway, I think, at this point. So hopefully... I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're going to be done with this before the end of the episode. And then, oh, we should put, like, flower boxes or something downstairs. Like we do at New Horizons Lab. Now I have flower boxes around all the windows. That'll look nice. Oh, we're already running out of oak logs, though. But I do have some other logs that I can use. Like, I have, um... I have... I don't remember the name of it, but it was that nice kind of slimy looking wood it's not it's not slimy but it looks kind of it looks like wet almost like liquidy wood that makes no sense whatsoever but that's how i remember it or at least that's how i remember it from a week ago okay let's go downstairs and now oh, i like the oak it looks nice it breaks up the stone okay and let's go outside and yeah this looks good uh but we do need to go up and do it on the top floor so let's go up. Oh, and then maybe we can dig out the grass around the bottom and replace it with gravel. Okay, so we will replace this stone brick with logs, but we're going to have to go get more logs. 
Uh, okay. And as long as we don't break the bed, our bedroom will be fine. We'll just go ahead and put those two logs there. And let's jump off the roof. No, it didn't hurt at all. A little bit. We probably like, broke our ankle and we're out of oak. Well, guess we're going back to the big tree. I've actually mined most of that tree out on the inside, so let's go ahead and start mining this one. Okay. So. Okay. I don't know what to talk about. Well, I guess I can talk about the fact that we're almost done with our base. I almost said home. I didn't, though. I'm, I'm finally starting to, like, break that habit. See, it's just the issue is after playing for such a long time, just building, like, castles and moving into the castles. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys can relate, but it just it gets boring because you're not really doing anything that monumental in the end. You're just building another base with cool things. Like in Tech It, I built so many buildings. I would build like solar panel factories. I built and some other things I built. One time I made like a cake factory and a cookie factory. That was really fun. I just loved using equivalent exchange and I built like this giant tower. And then also, oh, I love the quarries too from back then. I loved when you couldn't just use digital miners and stuff like that. I mean, they're awesome. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, there's just something really satisfying about seeing a giant hole in the ground where you've been mining resources. I don't know. I think so, at least. Okay, we should have enough oak wood to finish our base. Okay, let's just dig down. Ow, that hurt. Ow. I'm just gonna keep saying ow. And let's mine this floating oak. I have issues with Minecraft physics. I hate how it doesn't work. Oh, our base looks pretty good. And I think once we put the vines down, it'll look great. Oh, and especially the flower pots. Okay, so let's finish up these logs, and then we'll have to put the torches back, and then we'll start digging up the dirt around our bottom floor. Okay, so let's get the torches out. We'll put them across like we did the first time. And now let's go downstairs and start digging out the dirt around our house base compound facility don't even know what to call it anymore let's get the dirt out because i have a feeling we're going to need to patch up quite a few little divots in the landscape like that 